My name is Adrienne Lamb. I'm currently a postdoctoral fellow at Binghamton University. I'm a planktic foraminiferal biostratigrapher. So what I do is use fossilized remains of organisms from long ago and when they evolved and when they went extinct to then tell how old these sediments are that we drill while we're aboard the ship. So I first learned about scientific ocean drilling when I was an undergraduate student. So I took this paleoceanography course and that's where we first learned about sediment cores, um, drilling the ocean, the seafloor, and that scientists could actually go and sail on the Joides Resolution. And it was during this course that I really kind of got obsessed with this idea of scientific ocean drilling, the IODP program, and decided, yeah, actually one day I'm gonna sail on that ship. I wanna do science with this program. The first time sailing was, I was a nervous wreck, um, but I was really excited and leaving port, I kind of had this sense of like wonder and like, oh, this is cool. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm so lucky. Being with such a neat team of scientists and a mix of people from all over the world, all different career stages, people who are really, you know, well published, well known, folks who are just starting out in my shoes, you know, still PhD students. And that was neat. It just felt like a very, even from the beginning, it was just a very comfortable environment where I knew I was going to learn and grow. And I was really excited for that opportunity to just to be a better scientist throughout the expedition and just learn more because I knew it was just going to be a learning curve the entire time. There's a lot of things that excite me about my job, just finding a fossil and knowing like I'm the first one to hold this fossil. And this was from, you know, the Paleozoic. We're talking 450 to 300 million years ago. When I'm sailing on the ship, it's knowing that, you know, when we get that core catcher that comes up and I'm the first one there as a biostratigrapher that gets that sample, I'm the first one to look at those fossils. And then there was this time we were on 371, there were several times when I would go out on the top of the ship at night and just look up at the stars. And I would think, man, me and the people on the ship around me right now are the only people that have seen the southern hemisphere sky from this exact location on earth perhaps we're the only ones to ever see it from this point on earth's surface like how cool is that the discovery finding new things we didn't know about our earth learning how it operated in deep time that to me is just so exciting